Okay, uh, good evening. Uh, this is uh, Professor David J. Villas Reyes. It's uh, December 27, 2022. Okay, uh, my topic tonight on my long video will be differential equation lesson number 41. <coughs> this is uh, DE41, and the title of the topic is uh, Special second order differential equation spatial <coughs> uh, we are now through with the concepts of uh, second order and we are now through with the three cases involving problems under second order differential equation i have given you already problems on the three cases so for tonight my topic will be spatial second order differential equation okay uh, let's proceed special uh, special meaning it does not fall under the three cases it's uh, the attack on the problem will be a different thing from the three cases so okay okay uh, let's proceed the given problem is uh, d square y over dx square plus dy dx minus e to the minus x equal to zero. Uh, I have given you a problem to illustrate special second order differential equation. The requirement of the problem is find gs. gs is meaning general solution. Okay, uh, let's try to bring out the solution. I will rewrite the given uh, differential equation. So this is d square y over dx square plus dy dx minus e to the minus x equal to zero. Then I will try to rearrange. Uh, the first two terms here can be written as simply the, 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 the derivative with respect to x of open quantity dy dx plus y plus quantity equal to. I will uh, place this one on the right so this will now become plus. So this is e to the minus x. Okay. Uh, there's no magic here because uh, if we try to expand this one what will come out is actually this because by definition the derivative with respect to x of the first derivative is actually the second derivative and the derivative with respect to x of y is actually dy dx so th this one here can be written as uh, the derivative with respect to x of open quantity dy dx plus y close quantity equal to e to the minus x. Okay, then try to multiply all the terms by uh, eliminate dx over here on the left hand side. So we will multiply all the terms by 1 over dx. So the left hand side multiplied by 1 over dx this also sorry for that one mm -hmm. I want to eliminate dx so I will try to multiply sorry for that one multiply all the terms by dx okay so the left hand side multiplied by dx this dx will disappear right so what comes out on the left hand side will just be simply the differential of the quantity dy dx plus y plus quantity equal to the right hand side it will be e to the minus x times dx so what comes out is e to the minus x times dx okay uh, the reason why i place dx on the right hand side is that this is x and this should be dx for this to be integrable, the differential here should be dx, right? It should not be dy. It should be dx. Okay. Proceeding with the solution. Integrating. Meaning, integrate both sides. The integral of the differential of the quantity dy dx plus y plus quantity equal to the integral of the right hand side of e to the minus x times dx. Okay. For the left hand side, uh, there's no problem. Uh, we have passed by integral calculus already, that is, 
If the integral sign goes this differential sign, they will try to cancel out each other, right? So what comes out on the left-hand side will now be dy dx plus y. Okay, equal to the integral of the right-hand side, uh, it's an exponential function. Uh, we verify the differential of the exponent. The exponent is actually negative x. Oh, sorry for this one. It's negative x. Negative, right? du should be negative dx. Okay? So, for this to be integrable, there should be negative sign over here. And we place a negative 1 outside. So, what comes out for the answer will be, there's, there's now a negative sign over here. It emanates from there. So, this is negative e to the minus x plus a constant of integration c. Okay? We are integrating. So, there should be a constant of integration that will come out. And I place it here. This is similar to, meaning the resulting differential equation is similar to, similar to the form dy dx plus p of x times y equal to p of x. If you try to recall one of the differential equations under the first order, it is the differential equation that could be solved by using integrating factor i n. Using an integrating factor. Uh, this form here falls under the differential equation that could be solved by using integrating factor. I will check my camera. Okay. So if I will try to rearrange this equation here, for it to be so similar to this, I will write it here, dy dx plus 1 times y. Okay? y is just a 1 times y, right? Equal to q of x. q of x is the total value of the right-hand side. It is minus e to the minus x plus c. Why I place uh, times 1 over here? Because y is just actually y times 1, right? But I could place it as this is times 1. So I will try to correlate this equation here to this. P of x is actually P of x is actually 1. So I place it here. P of x is equal to 1. And under this case here, the integrating factor, the formula on how to take the value of the integrating factor is Integrating factor is equal to e raised to the integral of p of x dx. Right? So substituting the value of p of x after the rearranging of the equation. This should now be equal to equal to e raised to what is p of x? It is 1 times dx. What is 1 times dx? It is, it is just dx, right? And what is the integral of dx? As I have told you, if the integral sign goes this, near this uh, differential sign, they will try to eliminate each other, right? So what comes out for the integrating factor will be e to the x. Okay? Oh, that's the computed value of the integrating factor. We needed this integrating factor for us to solve for the general solution of this, which falls under the so-called... Differential equation solvable by using integrating factor. And if we try to recall the general equation for this, it will be, try to recall your integrating factor. It is y. Why this is y? <laughs> because uh, this is dy dx, right? It should be y times integrating factor equal to the integral of q of x, the right hand side, times the computed value of the integrating factor times dx. Substituting so, values, one, the integrating factor, the computed, is actually e to the x. This is times e to the x equal to the integral. Q of, Q of x is actually negative e to the negative x plus c. It is this. Times the integrating factor, which is e to the x, multiplied by the x. So, as you notice it, all the terms on the right-hand side are all x's, right? The variable should be common. There should be no y on the right hand side. It should be all x's. Okay. So 
we are doing good. Expanding, this will become negative 1 plus c e to the x times the x. Why? Because if we try to multiply e to the negative x times e to the x, what will come out is actually 1. Right? So, but there is a negative sign over here. So this is negative 1 plus c e to the x close quantity dx. Okay, expanding. Uh, let's some side, uh, we're doing good. It's fine already. y e to the x equal to negative 1 times dx, the integral, this should be the integral of negative dx plus the integral of the second one, constant, exponential function, constant will come out. This is c, the integral of e to the x dx. Okay. Left hand side, y e to the x equal to the integral of negative dx, okay, it should be negative the integral of the differential of x. Integral goes near the differential line, they will try to cancel out each other, what comes out is just negative x, right? Equal to plus, or plus, the integral of e to the x dx, uh, it's okay, because the value of u is actually x and du is equal to dx, and this is exact. So need to, no need to introduce the negative sign. It is exact. It is dx. So the integral of e to the x dx will just be simply e to the x times c because there is a c outside plus another constant of the integration k. So y e to the x equal to negative x plus c e to the x plus k. Uh, I would like that the right hand, left hand side rather will be a pure y. So if I want uh, the left hand side to be pure y, I, I want to eliminate e to the x. So I will try to multiply all the terms by the reciprocal of this. And the reciprocal of e to the x is actually 1 e to the x. So if we try to expand now, this one here cancel with this. Right? Left hand side will be y equal to. Uh, negative x times 1 e to the x, uh, we raise it up, so this should now become negative, right? Plus c, plus c times 1 over x, uh, this e to the x cancel with this, so this is now pure c, right? But this k here should be multiplied by 1 over e to the x. Then I will try to raise up the value of the denominator. So this will now become negative also. And if we try to bring out the final general solution, I will try to combine this one here. There's a common factor e to the x, e to the minus x, times the quantity. Well, I will write first this one. This is k, this minus x, plus quantity, plus c. Uh, that's the general solution. So, as you can see, the special second order differential equation is not actually, does not fall under the three cases. The solution should be something like this. Try to manipu manipulate it, and after the so-called manipulation, what will come out will be a differential equation, first order, that is solvable by using integrating factor. Uh, that's it guys, uh, uh, another case of uh, second order differential equation, but it falls under this so-called special second order. Special meaning it does not fall under the three cases. That is if the roots are uh, equal and equal and uh, what do you call this? Uh, equal and equal. And equal, and the third one is the complex thing. It does not fall under those three. That's why the, the term is actually second, no, no, special second order differential equation. So the solution is actually, after the manipulation, will be by using an integrating factor. So it's a must that you should recall your, what you call this, uh, differential equation solvable by using integrating factor. Because if after the manipulation, you could not uh, solve the resulting equation, uh, you're gone. But uh, after the manipulation, you know how to solve the differential equation solvable by using integrating factor, then just proceed with the solution. Then after that, solve for the integrating factor, then follow this set up here, then proceed again with the integration. 
try to simplify, what will come out will be your general solution. Okay, uh, that's it guys. If you like my long video here, press click like. If you want to subscribe to my channel, my channel is actually at youtube.com slash ProTBJ De Los Reyes. Okay? Please click subscribe if you like my channel. Then if you want to share to your friends, if you are generous enough, please click share. Uh, good evening, Los Angeles.